Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Once more, here we are again. So, uh, it is actually 10 to 10 at the moment here, but you thought, I mean, I just thought, you know what? I really do fancy carrying on here. And why the hell not? It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys will agree as well, but I think it will be. I think we've made a really nice breakthrough. I really want to see how we can actually continue with that. So we're going to get right back into the game here. Aimed at voices from the Osrunt once again. Okay. So we're going for what we did last time. Man. So obviously we did make our big breakthrough over here by Smolensk. I am going to be looking at other forces that I do still have available for movement over here. It does make me wonder as to whether I begin to send forces into Estonia now. But I think uh, at the end of the day we do have... We, we have some divisions down here. We do have security divisions. And I, I think the security divisions can do that job. Uh, really. I, I can't see really much use for what... Uh, as to what other units could go there. So I think what we'll do here then. More so for our own security is obviously lay a unit here. I am very much looking towards the actual security here of our forces, and uh, just on the off chance that there is perhaps a Soviet unit marauding around here. There we go. So at least that's going to cover the area of Riga. Now, let's take a look over here then. We do have the rail line to here. This is where the railhead is at the moment. Next turn, I'm going to be looking at moving the Lofofa element up further. Now the question is, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual commander's report, we'll take a look at the HQs, we'll take a look at the army groups. Okay, so army group north has 745 aircraft, 1500 in the center, 1300 to the south, alongside another 27 there from army group Antonescu. So I do believe it is indeed the army of the north that requires these aircraft. We only have 125 fighters north, that's not much. Uh, more than double that number there. Indeed, more than double that there. Definitely Army Group North that would benefit from this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this then. Air support is 218. I think what I'm going to do here, then, is actually go back into... Right, units. Sort this here, then, so I'm going to look at airbase. Now, currently it's at 60%. I'm going to increase that to about 80% now. The reason being, I do want to make sure that my units do have enough uh, aviation support. So I'm going to increase that ever so slightly. It's only going to take a little bit. It's not too much in terms of requirements. Okay, so here are our fighters over here then. So on the grounds, I do suppose that we have 157. So not quite the numbers that we've seen in the HQ report. Uh, it does make me wonder. But this, uh, this airfield needs to be on the front lines. I need to really be quite careful in how I deploy these airfields. Yep, as you can see here. It wouldn't be a terribly uh, bad idea to have them spread out, perhaps. Right, your morale. Or is that morale? That's the supply, isn't it? Okay. You are very well supplied here. Okay, we'll give the aircraft to you. So we're going to do here then. Well, actually, what do we have here? We have Yonkers 88s. Strategic Reconnaissance. Level bombers. Okay, what I'm going to do then is try to keep Yonkers at basically similar aircraft models together. So I have Yonker 88As, Yonker 88As, I have a Yonker 88D1 over here. But I'm going to have a strategic reconnaissance. I mean, this is it. Do I have it? Um, I think. Yeah, I'll have this placed in here. It would make sense to have that within the actual bombers. We have BF 109 F2s over here. We have plenty of high core 11s. But I'm not going to be placing these squadrons in here. I meant to select that and not actually put it in there. I should be able to place that into the pool again next turn, so that's no issue. Right. 
BF109s. Yonker 88. Yonker 88, okay. You have 145 AV here. Interesting. I'll give you the Heinkel 111s. How does that affect you? Ah, I see. So you could actually be right, okay, now this makes more sense. Okay, what I'm going to do here then. So aircraft transfer. Right, there we go. So the Junker 88's over here. Have a couple of them. Interesting. Hmm. Right now, this makes a lot more sense. I'm going to stand the system more now. I'm going to look into how the actual air transfer system works, uh, but we can work on that. So I understand more about that system now, so that's fine. We can do a lot more now. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then is, is it shift Z? Yep, there we go. So we're going to place them closer to their actual units. So I do have these divisions to march north. How have they been looking on supplies, actually? A little bit closer about there, maybe. I want to make sure that they can actually rely upon support over here. I tell you, this is a game changer. So the rail lines are going to be here. Well, here, sorry. I really wish they were closer, but I, I have to work with what I've got. I do have some supply there. Is there anything over here that I can make use of? I'm looking really for fuel. Unfortunately not at the moment. So it does make me wonder. I mean, what is in Talonin? In Talonin, there is a decent amount of fuel, but it's not enough to make it worth going all that way. It's not close enough for that. Hmm. I don't have any actual transport aircraft out here. Not that they'd be of, uh, yeah, they need to be elsewhere, don't they? I don't think you'd be able to make it through there. Okay, what we're going to do then is I'm going to move them closer to the actual, uh, well, the actual motorized. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense to keep them in the city of Pascov. There's still some fuel over here. These guys are too far out anyhow. Okay. 
what I'm going to do then is I could either move my infantry here or I could have the infantry move to this area over here in preparation to cross. Now, let's see. What is this supply MP? So the range to rail at the moment is 15. The MP to rail is 20. Range to headquarters is 5. MP to headquarters is 7. Uh, what is the numbers over here? 18. Okay, obviously very close, but yeah, that is a big old different uh, distance there. Also because of the crossing of the river. You over here. Right, 5 and 7, 17 and... Right, okay. While as you... Right, very similar numbers. So it does make me wonder... How do I stand to benefit most from this actual uh, situation? I think I could try and stream... Yeah, okay, let's take a look. So I could try and move additional forces through this area as we are doing at the moment. Or I could have the Panzer forces actually ready themselves in this position here. Uh, what I could then do is have this division potentially push on further north, or potentially have it push south once again to join it with the rest. Uh, how are you doing there, Tone? I'm doing pretty good, my friend. Uh, I don't think there's actually too many people watching here at the moment. Uh, it's kind of impromptu, obviously unplanned. I don't think people actually expect me to stream at this time, really. So, <laughs> not too many of us. There's literally dozens of us. Dozens of us at the moment. But I'm not doing too bad, mate. I'm not doing too bad, my dude. Oh, God, I'm getting tongue-tied today. Not doing bad. I do hope you're doing well, and it's good to have you here, as per usual. Yep, you can actually help me decide my situation here, then, can't you? <laughs> Um, I think taking a look at it, I can't move any additional forces this way, so I don't think it's much point trying. This should be cut off. Well, it's definitely cut off now. Now, as to whether they make their way across here and return after, ideally not. But even if so, they're more than likely going to abandon this position here. So I either push across the infantry here. I'm just going to clear some of this away to make it easier. So I either push across this area here. Across Lake Pascolf and Pipus. Well, between the two lakes over here. Now, the added benefit is my rail line is here. So it is a closer... Hmm. Then the added benefit is, obviously, I have the infantry still down here that can deal with this situation and obviously go like this. I'd still have a core, well, a couple divisions of infantry to push north. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I think that works out to be the better choice. It means these guys are close by to supply. So, let's take a look. Where could you potentially move? So, you can't potentially, you can't really move too far anyway. But I could have you in a position then alongside the rest of your core. Where then, you're obviously looking pretty good, aren't you? Ah, how you doing there, Zora? Uh, there's been a question I've been meaning to ask you. Why did you choose to buy Steel Division 2 of the Gorabi Team Tactics and Mingus Front? <laughs> I've actually got that game. Let's see. Yeah, I've actually got it. I've not placed that much time into it. It is a very intriguing game, I'm not going to lie. I do need to give it a go in the future. Once again, really. I don't know, there's a lot of games in my library, but I don't really, um, I don't, I don't play that many games, to be honest. It's really strange, I really do not play that many games. I don't change the view. Yeah, there's a lot of them in here, but I just, I, just, I mean, that was one that I kind of wanted to take a look at in the past. And there's a lot in here that I really... I'd like to take a look at, but I always end up getting distracted by something else, to be honest. Like, that one could be kind of fun. Uh, those are intriguing. Because combat, yeah, there's, there's a lot in here, to be honest, that I need to just get around to playing. I just, I just don't play that much. My front, I've got, I think I've got another one as well somewhere. Maybe. Making history is another one I'd like to get back to one day. Um, I'm trying to find it now. I don't know. I think it's in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, you see, I'm not that much of a fan of uh, tea, actually. I do like tea. 
The only issue is it's like uh, that dread of having badly made tea. Like, see, I've worked quite a while as a... Well, I worked uh, a fair few months as a workman of, of nature, of, of such. I'm not doing that at the moment. I'm technically unemployed at the moment. Um, but yeah, I can remember going to, like, different properties, different houses while I'd be doing work. And the thing is, it's like, it's beautiful when people make your tea. It's really lovely, really sweet. But then you taste it, you're like, just wish you'd made me a coffee. Because <laughs> you can't fuck up a coffee. So that's my thoughts there on the tea debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I've had bad coffee as well. Like, yeah, it's, just, it's harder to get coffee wrong, though. That's the thing. Okay, so I'm going to take this division here, the 206. They're going to move and join the rest of their core. Which means I can actually place... Yeah, that makes it easier. So I'm going to have my 290th be in position here to push across the river. Well, push across the lakes here. There we go. They're going to be ideally closer to supply, but yeah, these guys... If they're cut off from supply and remain cut off from supply, they will be able to push across there. It'll be tough, but they'll be able to do it. Now, what I'm going to be looking towards doing here as well is, for example, there's a possibility that I place them on the rail line here. Maybe. I could have them assigned directly to the Panzer Group headquarters or potentially to another core in the nearby area. I'd still have quite a few of the Panzer Group here I need to use. But it would be worthwhile. Uh, let's see. What do I have in Riga at the moment? So there's 10,400 tons of fuel in Riga at the moment. No need me doing that. Uh, port's heavily damaged, but the rail yard's operational, of course. Plenty of supply there. So I could do that. Considering they only have 28% fuel, it's probably the better choice. So I'll have them move there. So there'll be uh, two hexes there from the actual railhead. <laughs> How you doing there, Paul's good to have you, my friend. Indeed, we are picking fights with the Slavic hordes. <laughs> I mean, this is a fight that we actually chose, though, isn't it? So, uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so I'm going to have them deployed there. Now, obviously, they are way too far away from their call. That call's overburdened at the moment due to the regiments. Yeah. Hmm. What I could do then at the moment. Well, for the moment. Let's see. You're not overburned at the moment. That's with the regiments, really. You do have some fuel in you. You have some fuel. You have some fuel. The 18th Army has 358 tons of fuel. I believe I'll have you shifted under the command of the 18th Army. Some rails will be here. There's also the Panzer Group, and I'll have them shifted under the command of the 18th Army. The reason for that is at least they can actually draw on that fuel directly from the army headquarters. I want to make sure this unit gets its fuel in here. Now let's take a look at the actual table equipment. Now the motorized, it's actually, it's interesting there, it's shown me 13811. I think that's due to the fact it has a pioneer battalion attached. Yeah, and if each one of them is 10, yeah, so that's a couple hundred extra men there. Range to rail is 8, MP to rail is 12, range to headquarters 2, 3, okay. Hmm. So you could move much further, but obviously you can't convert anymore. If only that rail line connected there. If bloody only. I mean, this is really changing things. I mean, if there was a rail line across here, that'd be exceptional, but there isn't. 
So, in reality, the question now becomes... We've broken through here, haven't we? So this area is broken. Terrible drawing, but you know what I'm going for. So that area is broken. Now, originally, I thought we'd have to slog through here. But it appears we do not have to. Now, I do have the ability to move back here. I don't lose anything from doing this. I could then move up the rail line. And even potentially move like that. Or move like that. If I move like this, obviously I'm then having to go like that. Whereas I think this would be the most optimum route. If I stick on the current path, I'm going to have to go like that. So, yeah, this has become the optimum route. And we'll move accordingly. Cover you with the security vision there, just in case. There we go. Okay, that's good news. So what I could do then is actually move um, you into here. Right, there we go. Okay. Uh, what I want to see here then, so obviously you could benefit from that heavy flag. What I'm looking for then is any construction battalions, like so. They must go to army headquarters. You've got all this. See, these shouldn't be here. I'd love to know where they're coming from, actually. I really need to just go ahead and like just have all this, uh, all these support units just reorganized because it, it's getting to the point now it's a joke. Hmm. I'm not happy with how this is looking. Give you additional strategic reconnaissance there. Okay, so we shifted these assets up this way then. I think that's the best move. We do have a shite load of uh, power there. Yeah, we have two divisions here. That are at 100%. So you can see how that makes a big difference there. So you can see 28, 22. But even then 22, that's rather surprising. Why are you so underwhelming? Morale is 80, 82. What is the difference here?
Looks like additional squads, additional artillery, different additional weapons. It looks like it's just not taken as much of a uh, hit, really. Okay, do have these reinforcement divisions over here. Need to get these moving out. Uh, the date of the game is just up over here. Uh, we're only about... Uh, I think the turn is a week. So we're only five weeks into Operation Barbarossa. So July, aren't we? Now I could move out that division there. But I think what I'm going to do here... Because I'm going to pick a fight. I do want to try and break this unit here if I can. Force it to surrender. I don't think... Oh, no. No, maybe. Ooh, we force it to retreat. But the good news is I can actually take that high ground now. Yeah, okay. So that has kicked them off of the rough ground there. So that division will be absolutely screwed. If I'd had anything in the area, it'd probably surrender. Now, the Savakins can begin moving. That's what I want to see. Okay, so we'll begin uh, advancing the Savakins. Yep, I got my rail here. Oh, right, against the tide. I, I don't think I've heard about that one. Oh, man, I'd love to see the Pampers in that. No, it's a good game. It is a, it's a very interesting game. It is one that I'm going to have to take a look at, actually. Um, I don't know. I just think it's one of these things I've just not spent enough time with that game to really just, just know how it works, really. Unit over there, supposedly. Uh, inconsequential. Right. So I do have my rail cap there. Not much. Not enough to get your movement, that's fine. Right, march. The rails are only up to here anyway, so that's fine. Right, have the 4th Army Headquarters move over here to Minsk. See, 4th Army's overburdened, isn't it, now? Also, once you start playing God of Team Tactics, I think you'll start to see, especially in the campaign, that Steel Division feels like it was trying to knock... Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Like, I really... I don't know, I'm gonna have to give it a go, aren't I? I'm really gonna have to give it a go. Like, I really love just how detailed it is. It's so nice to be able to see the models up close. I'm actually really tempted to actually have these headquarters assigned zero support, and then I want to make sure... I think I'll take this as a test bed. So I'm going to have zero support here. I want to see where that support actually goes as to whether it goes to OKH. Or, well, it should go to Army Group Center, I should say. I actually find that'd be a bad move. Okay. 
And yeah, that'd be really intriguing to take a look at. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to take a look at that. You've twisted my leg on that one, haven't you? Move you over there. Okay. So we do have these Luftwaffe assets, so I do need to shift up as well, actually. See, some of these calls are under underutilized at the moment. Getting on top of your headquarters now, one that's flying there. Okay, you're overburdened. Right, I have a uh, core over there. We'll get them transferred. That's really cool. Case blue. <laughs> that's that's really intriguing. Okay, we'll have the infantry uh, signed elsewhere. Right, there we go. Okay, these men need to be moved to this area here. Reason is so that they're actually in a position to uh, push. I can move the core to that area then as well.
Oh, that's really intriguing, actually. That's kind of cool. I'm going to shift some of these units around. You can be moved to the... See, that's the issue, isn't it? Don't quite have enough. But I'll do for the time being. I was saying that. That'll just have to be for the time being. Oh, there we go, actually. I've got what I need here. I see the chance for a small encirclement from Splunks down by... Bikolf? Bikolf? Or do you mean like Kharkov? Oh, over here. There we go. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, unfortunately, the forces don't quite have enough yet. Um, we do have a second army moving up. Perhaps it might be better just to take... Yeah, I'm going to take them off to try and get them moving further. Yeah, it's better to get them moving. Gave you by Minsk. Right, there we go. I really do need the rail lines in this area. They are making their way, but it's taken a long time. I mean, what I'm going to be looking at doing here, then, is the city of Smolensk itself doesn't really matter. What I'm hoping to do is fold up on these units over here. And if I can do the same down here as well. Obviously, I'd like to keep on pushing here as well. The good news is at least I do have the second army. That is going to be in a position to do that. Now, I've currently got the Panzer... What, what would be the Panzers there? 
under the command of the armies. They still have a good amount of fuel there to give. And that works for me. So they're going to remain under the command of the armies here for the time being. Ninth Army still has a fair amount there too. Okay. Now as to where reinforcements could make the most impact. I tell you what, I reckon here. I reckon this is where they could make the most impact. Because at the end of the day, we have made a real big gain here. I mean, should this actually play out and should... I mean, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but what I... I reckon with some timely reinforcements, fresh reinforcements, fresh divisions alongside these divisions here, what I want to do... I mean, this is it. If I could have infantry just... just hold that and keep the panzers pushing or push with the infantry and then use panzers... I don't know, but I think, I think this is where they should be used. I've got an entire army moving up that way. I've got additional divisions that would obviously held up that will be moving up north now. We've got two panzer groups here. Granted, I've got two panzer groups up there. But there is uh, infantry or the second panzer. Uh, the ninth and fourth armies? Ninth and... I think this is fourth. Yeah, ninth and fourth armies here. And Dance of Reich, so they've got SS neutralized as well. I think, uh, I think the north. I think that's really where they need to be. So we can have our forces move along the rail lines up to here. Right, twenty twenty four. This call is going to be merged under is the fourth or third? I think it's the fourth. Yes, yeah, the fourth Panzer. Now that's helped to balance things out there. Brian, have you assigned to that Panzer Corps now? Right, these men need to go under the command of third panzer for the time being. So move under the command of third panzer. The reason is I need to look after my command points. But this will give the third panzer here north a healthy boost. Okay. Have them move to that area. So as you can see here, just need to transfer one division under the command of one of these cores here. A bit awkward as I need a regiment. But that's fine, that'll be alright for now actually.
Hello there, new Hauser. How you doing there, my friend? Run, have you put under the temp call? Yeah, you can come in and watch. You can come in from the cold. I'd love to use more administration points over here, and I really would. I need to use them elsewhere for the moment. Okay. So what we're doing at the moment then, so obviously we've uh, deployed elements of the Panzer Corps over here. These men have been pushed up, we do have these men down here that are going to be pushed up to join the Panzer Group as well, the third Panzer Group, the green one anyhow. So what we're going to be doing here then is pushing the third and fourth Panzer Group up to this area, but then again I don't really want to be doing that. I'd much prefer if I could keep on going around. Perhaps just have infantry move up over this way. Ideally secure Novgorod. Novgorod does have that fuel in there, which would be nice. But, uh, well, to be honest, even the infantry could maybe do this, but I, it's, it's awful. Absolutely awful in this area. So perhaps just have the infantry. But it does depend. I really want to get towards uh, Novoya Ladoga. The reason being then I can actually just encircle Leningrad. It could be done like this, but I want to be on the other side of the river. I mean, maybe I go down this way. But I can attempt to do that with the infantry. If we take a look over here then at the moment. A fair few of these are airfields. These are all airfields, as far as I can tell. There are divisions here. But luckily we do have the Finns in the north that can be putting pressure on the Soviets in this area now. I imagine the Soviets are going to reinforce this area. It's going to be interesting. This has been cut off. We've been able to reach Lake Ilman here, so that's cut this rail line here. This rail line has been severed down here to the south. Of course, they can still move force as well. Of course, the uh, Soviets can still move men up this central rail line here. But I'm hoping that's going to make it harder. I'm hoping that he might want to look at withdrawing here. In reality, I can see this defensive line falling back. This is untenable. If he remains in this position here, I could potentially even envelop that with infantry. Or even just a few motorized armored. And if this was to be enveloped, the road to Moscow would be a hell of a lot easier. But I need to secure the rail lines in these areas. I don't really care much for the cities. Obviously it'd be nice to take the logistics there, but I need to cut these rail lines. The reason being, I want to isolate the rest of the Soviet Union from Moscow. As you can see, is this rail line around here, the, this core of the logistics network. I don't want to attack the city directly, I want to encircle the city. But I want to cut these rail lines. The reason why I want to do that is, of course, he can still move his forces around, but I want to make it difficult for him. I want to remove the ease of the actual logistical hub here. That, and obviously, is going to mean that. Uh, the defenders aren't going to be able to be as easily reinforced. We'll see, actually. Yeah, I mean, this is it. If if they don't pull back, and then if we can continue to put the pressure on here. Because there's a lot of units that can't pull back. These men, uh, they're going to have... It depends, really. These men are either going to... I don't know. I think they're either going to try and go like this. But if they do that, that's going to make it easy on me because I can just encircle them. I think the best move they're going to make is probably this way. I can't see this being held. And that's very good news because I've only just reached the river Divina over here as well. I think it's Divina? I can't remember the name of the river. I think it's Divina here. But, um. Yeah, maybe I'll race to Luki. I think. I think what I need to do is move here. To small town of Nili Dovol. A Nili Dovol. I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, Nili Dovol. Something of that nature. I think this could be the make or break. Of course, I'd love to do this here, but this one's harder. But if I could sever this rail line and this rail line, they'd actually be trapped. There's only, there's only this rail line here. That's keeping this... This going. And that's a sobering fort there for the Soviets. 
And the thing is, we do have a second army moving down here to um, shore up our wings, well, our flanks. We do have reinforcements moving this way as well. Yeah, anything that cuts that single rail line will seal them. Yeah, indeed. And this is it. There's, it's practically a weak holding force here in the center. The thing is, we have the marshes over here to basically uh, cement our flank. We have the ocean. Well, we have the Baltic over here, I should say, not the ocean. So we have the Baltic here to secure our flank. So as far as it goes, this is probably the best I could actually have right now. If we take a look. We've pushed on to here now. And to here as well. What I want to avoid doing is fighting in shite like this. I want to avoid that. We're building up momentum. Now, of course, it's difficult with our supply situation, but that's a lot of Soviet units in that area there. What I'd love to do is units this way. Units this way. And this is like a textbook cauldron in a way. But obviously, I want to have the main body move on towards Moscow. But as well over here, I'm going to be looking towards having forces isolate Leningrad. And this is a question, isn't it? It's like, am I going to be um, doing the wrong here, the wrong thing here by um, attempting to do both at once? But I think we do have a very large contribution of force to the Moscow area. I think it's one of those things. Like Leningrad is doable. I can isolate Leningrad. I'm not having to take the city. The Soviets might have a real line guard on a near rail hub, near the rail hub. Yeah, I think this is it. The beauty is it's like I don't have to take any of the cities there. All I have to do is just simply cut the rail line. So there's a length over here. I mean, I could literally just move into this area here and just cut this. If I move here, I, I can just cut this. It's going to be intriguing. I think we are going to see a major Soviet fall back. Well, withdrawal from that area. And this is I don't think it's worth even moving into Estonia at the moment. All I have to do is a couple, couple more hexes, and all of Estonia is mine anyway. That's my thoughts on the situation at the moment. I'm going to look now to see if I've got any... Uh, any... Construction units. Right, two here, they're needed. You should not have howitzers. I mean, we are low on fuel here, but that situation should turn around soon. And the good thing here is um, we have three divisions here, so obviously these divisions as well block in this unit. So it's not as easy for them to go like this. It's going to cost them quite a lot as obviously they're going through the zone of control. I could have enveloped like this. I didn't f have quite enough potential to do that. But that's fine. What I'm hoping to do here then. As you can see we did take the city of uh, Velkil. I oh, don't know it was Vitabiska I think it was. Um, yeah we took that city. I can't remember the name. But what I'm hoping to do here then. Is really corral them like this. The good news is I have a core of infantry here, as well as additional infantry that have just arrived. They're going to be able to continue to push. And as far as it goes, before a stand Smolensk, which has nothing of value, few supplies, that's fine. Fuel over here of the Asma, of the Asma, is good. As far as it goes for the Moscow area, I need to, let's say that we push on Vyazma, or Vyazma. I need to move. Around the city. I need to avoid these river lines. Really make them play for me. Now, for example, I could have a strong force there, but the issue is this is open. 
like, the biggest danger here to our encirclement of Moscow, because in reality, what I could do here, then, is I could just, I could encircle Moscow by using the rail lines, uh, sorry, the river lines for the most part. Like, if you take a look over here, so, for example, all river, all river up to this point, all river up to this point. So, in reality, the city could be encircled by rivers. But this is where the danger is. I predict this is where the Soviets are going to be launching their counterattacks, and over here as well. This area not so much, consider considering the fact that uh, Leningrad is going to be hauled up. But I think these are the two avenues of where the Soviets' uh, counteroffensive is going to come from. Obviously we are way too far ahead of ourselves there, we'll have to see if we actually make it. But hope is good. Okay. Uh, I wish I'd taken a look at the unit first, but that's fine. It might still actually hold. Yep, it does too. <laughs> I think Garen's going to make a difference here. Should have moved up the core there. Okay, so they're moving towards the city of Stanislav. Okay, we'll begin to wrap up these divisions one by one. Irritatingly tough. I was hoping they would attack as well, but that's fine. There's some strong forces in here, really is. Burned. We uh, 
that's really bad there. I managed with it for the time. Damn, I should have had these units attack as well. Well, it does overwhelm them, but I would have wanted a stronger attack. Oh, they actually surrendered. Wow. That's such a really good result there. If anything, a little unexpected. I should have moved that there. Not too far away, but we do reduce their qualifications. It's taken a while, but it will fall. Interesting. It looks like they're actually trying to withdraw over here. I mean, that'd be excellent if they've left the city of Odessa lightly garrisoned. Hello there, Mech. How you doing there, my friend? Boy, how did this game really give you an idea of the massive scale of this war, the realistic game supply system? I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to having, um, like, one of these two I should play with. That's going to be awesome. Why don't you just go around them? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, isn't it? It's like, yeah, just go around them. <laughs> what are they going to do about it? I'm going to have you assign to this uh, panzer group, to be honest. I 
I think really what I want more, a desk is going to fall in a matter of time anyway. But uh, if I can continue with the advance, that's worth a lot more. Okay, good. The Romanian Air Force is ready now. I tell you what, it might be a good idea to potentially have this on HQ build up. Never mind, can't do it. I really enjoy the abstracted nature of Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa. Yeah, Adrian, I do need to do a Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa campaign. Frankly, it's weird saying that twice, but yeah, I, I do need to do one in the near future. Really do. And good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you guys doing, man? Yeah, I'm thinking here maybe have the Panzers, uh... Yeah, I think maybe have them um, hold up for the time being, take care of this unit here, perhaps. Not gonna go for Kyo. There are some divisions in here. Actually, a few divisions in there. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a very interesting game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. Let's move this out of the way over there. Hmm. See, my target is to uh, take Kharkov in the like the short term, well, short to mid term. Well, yeah, I suppose short term. Target is to take Kharkov. Kharkov has a little bit of fuel. It's not really for the fuel. It's mostly to deny them that production, really. Ultimately, what I want to do here is completely unhinge the Soviets. In the South that is. Cut that rail line. there as well. Oh no. Fair enough. Okay, so actually does secure us off glad. Glad actually per se means there's nobody in it. Oh, we also do uh, secure this city too. A little bit of fuel, a little bit of supply. Come in handy.
Okay, these men are going to be attached to the 4th Romanian army for the time being. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's like, I like how you can have a relationship, obviously, with, um... Like the head, well, obviously, the, uh, the, well, the head of logistics, I can't remember the name now, fails me. Uh, which is intriguing, actually. I love the fact that you really tried to see, um, it's not so much about actually defeating the, well, actually winning the game. It's more so just seeing how you survive. Is it Wagner? It might be Wagner. I think it might be Wagner. It might be Wagner I'm thinking of. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't get on. <laughs> uh, sounds like a sitcom, really, isn't it? See, why the fuck is that call there? Right. I tell you what, I don't care if I'm actually in range of that headquarters here in Romania and right by their borders. I'm not having two cores for this waste of time. These men will be attached to the fourth just to make sure that they do receive what they need. It is a shame because it's always going to impede them uh, a lot, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I'd agree with that with new houses. It's like, it, it, it really is a very interesting game. It, it is, it does add a lot. It is interesting. Gameplay-wise, though, it's just, it's just... It's like, had it been a game like this, then maybe I think it could have been significantly better. Who knows, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's not that amazing, but anyways, I know it's not too amazing. The DLC is hella overpriced. I don't know, it's a bit of fun for me. I like, did install Wargame Red Dragon today, actually. I was looking at the, uh, the actual nations in Red Dragon, I'm like, I just don't know what to do. I've just completely forgotten what's good. I need to watch some videos, really, just figure out what the, I, I have no idea what the matter is. I don't think I really care what the matter is. It'd be nice to play the game and actually, like, do well. We'll see. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, move the infantry first.
have you reassigned there? <laughs> yeah, I tried to refund Steel Division 2 a while ago, but I went, wait, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I forgot to ask a while ago. Oh, the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock? I mean, it's an interesting game. It it looks like it's based upon... Um, Christ, what was the game called now? There was a game like... Oh, I think it was the same company that developed it. It's literally the same... Uh, gameplay engine? Fuck, I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's okay. It looks interesting. I like... Uh, it looks okay. So the thing is, I've never watched any Battlestar Galactica, so I'm not really like... I don't really know much about the universe. It looks like a good game. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, it's just one of these things it's just like she's not really been so much on the radar really. Yeah, I mean the good news is I can actually uh and I can get it for free obviously by requesting it. I can request a review copy. I don't like saying I get it for free because it makes me sound like a dick. <laughs> Which is probably still true, but it it, it sounds bad. Yeah, Starhammer, that's it. Yeah, Starhammer. I think Starhammer was pretty interesting. It's just one of those things you had, like... I don't know. I was kind of hoping for, like, bigger and better ships, and they just, they just kind of ran out. Right, oh. Oh, God, why do I have, like... <laughs> I'm glad I've got this here. Okay, you can be assigned here. Right, and there we go. We're out of administration points, honey. Fifty-seven percent fuel's pretty good. Okay. Okay, first things first, go see that city. Hmm. I suppose this is one of the things really, isn't it? It's like, um... I suppose the developers are going to be worried about, like, how, how deep they get into that. And I don't know, maybe there might be some mods out there, actually. If I approach from the way of Poltava. See, there is only two rail lines going into Kiev, but obviously the other one to the north I couldn't affect. Yeah, pretty much. 
And what I'm thinking here then is if uh, if I push onto this point here. Is that better than pushing on towards about there? I'd say that's worse. We push onto the city. I'm hoping I can take this here as well. Excellent. Okay. Some of a rail line here, but it makes it hard on these guys. Yeah, they're really low fuel. See, I'd go like that, but there's no point because these ports at six, uh, are, well, yeah, there's ports there. So I don't think it's worthwhile. Then it's a waste of time chasing fairy tales there. Huh? Oh yeah, no administration points. God damn it.
If only I added some administration points. That'd be nice. The reason why I've done that is because I know that unit's going to be, uh, well, those divisions, whatever they are, they're going to be looking towards cutting off my supply lines or putting pressure on the panzers there, so I don't want to allow that. Um, how goes that? I'd say interesting, really. We're making progress. Not as much progress over here on the finished front as I would have wanted, but we're making progress. This is good. This is very good. I'm hoping that I'll actually turn into something quite great there. Ha 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 I did. Oh, we already have Riga. Yeah, Riga's already ours. kind of hard to bypass Riga. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, I think it's one of those things like you, you could take Riga without even really trying, to be honest. It's just, just how it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get what you mean. Okay, not quite the one I was intending to have them attached to.
Yeah, look at all that. Okay, we get to gather the Hungarians. Might be 36 aircraft, but first 6 aircraft is first 6 aircraft. Okay, so I'm happy with that. We're making decent progress and uh, we've had some nice breakthroughs this time, which is excellent. You can see that we've finally started to keep pace now, which is good. More or less equal distance. Obviously, this unit is the first one into the Soviet Union at the moment. Uh, but if we can keep the pressure on, that'd be excellent. Right, let's see. SS Brigade there, that fin well yeah, that's going to come in handy. Uh, the Finnish troops going to come in handy. Uh, not so much in the next two turns. Very far out here, but I'm gonna try and get some fuel in here. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, that was totally not worth it. Yeah, I was hoping there wasn't an airfield here, but that seems like it's not true. Okay.
Yeah, that was a frying pan into the fire there, really. There we go, that's better. Eh, start. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice. I was hoping that we could have got some more fuel in there, but that that's fine. It is what it is. But this is finally wrapped up. I mean that plus one CV was amazing and just how how tough it was, my god. Maybe. No, no, no. Would have been nice. They over descended here, actually. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at the next turn. Jeez, I can't believe I've been doing this nearly two hours. That's just flown by. <laughs> That's just flown. There we go, there was our starting position. I don't know if that was a German aircraft, actually. It might have been a Romanian, Italian, Hungarian, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so we do see that strong tank division there. So I'm going to be interested to see. I do expect that... Uh, motorized unit by Lake Gilman to be cut off but I think they'll do a good job I'm really hoping that they aren't but I think they've done a good job we'll see what happens then that's going to be the uh, the question here on our minds Okay, it looks like they are falling back. Yeah, it looks like they're falling back, yeah. Losing a couple aircraft here as well as they go. But look at all those airfields. My god, that's a lot of airfields. So look at all that traffic going down that one rail line. And 
reveal doesn't look like there's much in between us at the moment. If only I had fuel. That's a lot of airfields. We have seen some aircraft being destroyed though each time, which is nice. Yeah, ground forces moving too. Quite a large movement here. Looks like we're going to hold that uh, as well. Or at least for the moment it does. But it looks like a complete withdrawal of the front line here. Yeah, you see them moving along the rail line there. Look at that. That's incredible. So they're definitely using this rail line. That shows you how important this rail line is. Just look at them all. <laughs> look at that. That is a. That's a lot of men there on one rail line. And are they going north? When are they going? It looks like they're going north. I tell you what, this is actually the first time I've seen something like this by the AI. Just like, to be able to see so clearly what's going on here. I don't care if they push me to the south of Mogolo. That makes zero difference. And honestly, they're making it easier to bloody pocket them. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Okay, we got, uh, I don't know, like... Perhaps two, three fronts there. Losses aren't great, but I don't mind that. It just means that they're just rather than retreating as they should be. They're just uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's no good. It's no good. Light losses to the cavalry there. Yeah, so you can see that as a larger force if I did break that minion circlement. But I think that was the right move, because it looks like an actual Soviet headquarters there. Like, army headquarters. Ooh, they do push my, uh, Tottenhof back. But, again, they're staying in the area so I can actually encircle them now. That's a... That's a very strange movement. So... Right, okay, so trying to hold me here, but that that's nowhere near enough, and like, why would you do this? You've fallen back here, why would you stay here? I know they, uh, yeah, they must recognize that this is it. That's a very interesting turn there. I really am looking forward to getting a look at this one. What do you guys think so far? Okay. Yeah, they lost 237 aircraft that turn. I'm not happy with the fact that we've crossed over 100,000 losses, but fine. Just look at that. And there's the odd few divisions, and I reckon those are the ones that just couldn't afford to move. 
Yeah, what it looks like here then is they've gone like this. But in reality, I mean, this entire army, this in, this entire front can move. And the thing is, we're going to be hot on his tails now. Well, hot on his tail. Just a couple of airfields around here. I mean, these units are doomed. Made it even easier for me as well. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do our reconnaissance. And the second army's arrived as well now. They're only about a few days away. I guess there's a few more units here than I would have hoped. It's never as easy, is it? <laughs> oh, shit. Did I get <laughs> Oh, shit. That's a strong reaction there. Yeah, that is skin of the teeth. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, that, that, like, okay. Kind of hoping that they've left me Odessa, maybe? Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, that, that's, that's quite a few Ruskies there. I just can't tell if they've left me uh, a death or not. I'm going to say probably not. But it is hard to tell. It looks like they just basically shifted all that south, but that's 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 still fine. Still fine. I can um yeah, I mean this is I've, I've still gotta wrap this up. Uh but these forces could make a good move on uh yeah, but my god, that's that's good thing I moved the infantry. Good, good thing. That that is for Ooh that's that's like that T V show, isn't it? Like uh, you know that T V show Moments from Disaster, yeah that that's basically that moment that Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. There goes uh plans for hitting Garkov. That that complicates things quite considerably. But uh eh. Also, these two sort of been in a circle around car, uh, around Kiev, yeah, but that's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah, he's definitely brought up re reserves over here. Damn them! Okay. But at the end of the day, that held. Ah. It looks like he spread out the uh, Leningrad garrison, but fuck me. Of course there's always troops over here. Okay, at least I cut off. Not really much extra there, but at least we did get some, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, still the right move. It's gonna be more difficult to get to Novgorod, but still doable. I've got a lot of infantry here, to be honest, so we can we can move up fine. And in reality, it's like rather than having to slog our way across this. I mean, I don't know why the fuck you'd leave 
Like, rear guard? Suicide guard? Still a lot here. Yeah, gonna be able to cause some problems there. Quite a few divisions. Thing is, I can cross. I can push this now. Getting closer. want more I only got three that time god damn I'm gonna blame that on the actual um, terrain etc etc well, at least I've got these divisions now I mean this is it I mean the situation is it's interesting they've obviously received a uh, influx of reinforcements as to be expected oh, that's good Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I mean, there's like what? Uh, fortified region, two rifle divisions, two, ri uh, two fortified divisions, three rifle divisions, four rifle divisions, sorry. Four rifle divisions can grab. Uh, armor divisions fall on that. And the thing is now, uh, I'll let the infantry work away at this. Ah, oh, excuse me. Hmm. And it's intriguing, really, isn't it? It's one of these of like, um, it's just figuring out what to do now. But I mean, this is a hollow defense here by the Soviets. I saw a strong position there. But in reality, I can just ignore that. Have some of the divisions come and deal with that. Even just have the security key them bungled up. That's some respect to the amount of fuel there. Yep. 
So there's gonna be units here as well. The thing is, as bad as this is, it's still fuel well spent for the most part because it's like, um, and this, I mean, look at that, I can, I can encircle them. I should be able to. It means that the infantry can advance up now. I don't know how these guys are still alive for the most part. Let's help them out on that one. Okay, that is shocking. Wow. And definitely being tenacious here. They've been starving for weeks, I just don't... It must be the city that's feeding them supplies. Either that or... Then again, you look at when they've been... battered, they really don't get back up from that.
Hmm. Yeah, what I'm going to have to look to do then is use our panzer forces in this area. Just eat away at these Soviet forces. I suppose in some ways it's, it's actually better for us. It looks bad because it's like, oh wow, there's a lot. But in reality, it's not so bad. In reality, we, I mean, well, sorry, okay, I've got to stop saying that. We, we've gained a lot of space here. I've gained a lot of, uh, um, obviously useless land, but I, I've been able to advance the front line, which is nice. At least I forced them back from defensive positions that they had prepared. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is actually bad, but no, it's actually good. Good as my Russians. <laughs> What I'm picking here, then, is we can actually use the panzers to nip and tear. Yeah, they've just left this. It'll allow the uh, fins to advance quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Um, I don't know how it usually goes for the finish, but we'll be at the no attack line by next turn. I'm hoping this is going to put pressure on the Leningrad defenders. I mean, this is it. Um, I do wonder what they've had to do here to fill out these defenses, but you can see they've gone for it quite smartly. But what we need to do here then is uh, take this out here. I mean, what I'd love to do is if I could pin the defenders against either the lake or against this lake, or even, yeah, pin them here. There's a weakness in the line, obviously, in the fact that there's a clear terrain here. So I can push against the town. I just need to split it in half, really, just keep moving. Now, there's a part of me that thinks uh, maybe how the panzers keep on advancing beyond this point here. Because if I can make it to here, Vishni Vlucic, Vlucic, I could potentially come round for the 
push on Moscow. As far as I'm concerned, it's like a push this way does actually help to envelop Leningrad as I can obviously can move forces here. It's one of these things, it's like I can either push through into Leningrad, I could, either, I could leave a panzer group dedicated to that, or at least some forces dedicated to that, but I think this is pretty much infantry. But I suppose at the end of the day that means that it's going to be grinded attrition, so I'll leave some motorized forces or armored forces there. But I think uh, I think one panzer group needs to continue pushing on this way. I think at the end of the day, it, it prevents reinforcements. And we did see that it works if we manage that. It does unhinge the Soviet line to the point where they pull back. So if I can do the same over here, stop. Like over here, like there's only one. Uh, what is it? Schwerpunkt? Schwerpunkt? I can't remember exactly how it's out. But there's only one of them here. If I have two, then you can actually unhinge them, which is good to see. Okay. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's one of these, isn't it? It's like, obviously, if we didn't have the breakthrough, we'd have been stood here. But that means that we can advance across a wider front. So I'm just finish this with the rail lines and then we'll call the session to an end. As to be honest, I didn't think I'd be doing so long, but it, it's hard to stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's actually a holy grail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's eight. I don't think I've ever had that many. Well, that's fantastic. Another turner will be at the front lines there by the lurks. Or at least I could be at Piscov. Should be able to be at, uh, I don't know, should be in Piscov by next turn then, I'm, maybe. I don't know, it depends really. Maybe the rail gauge will change it uh, at Biscoff, but uh, still that, that's excellent. That is absolutely amazing. Well, you can see the difference here, the fact that the actual supply is at the front line now, or what would have been the front line. And at least they've benefited from that. Yeah, look at that. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, that's what we like to see. So 
see what I could do now is have the um, 18th army turn to the north. Obviously have a 16th army continue to push this way. 16th obviously be a majority in this area for the moment. And the good news is the second army has arrived now, or will be arriving. Yeah, they'll be on the front turn. Sorry, on the front line this turn. There's not a lot of open room here for maneuver. I think what we do then is we identify the weakness. It's like you can see here, these points are weak. That's weak. I think I focus on this side. There are strong defenders down this way. But at this side here, these men are already pulling back, aren't they? This is shite for him. He's not got a rail line over here, really. He's got rail lines here, but he's not got anything here. Well, as here, he's got the interior lines. He's, he's not going to defend here. If I push this side and encircle this side here, I think that'll allow our forces to move up this way. I think ultimately we are going to be moving towards the city of Rizav. Or Rizav? 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 I don't know. Bum bum BC. Also, if we paired that, would have pushed to the north as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. So I'd like to say a big thank you here, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know it's been a very impromptu. Uh, really kind of late. <laughs> oh, dear. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed this, please do consider becoming a patron of mine. It really does help me out. And of course, if you're not already, please do subscribe on YouTube and Twitch at XTRG. And of course, follow here, follow myself here on uh, Twitch at XTRG. Really appreciate it. At least you'll be informed of when I go live in the future. So thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit tired. It is like 5 past 12 at the moment now. Didn't think I'd do another two, 2 hours and 20 minutes, but hey. I was taken by the mood. But interesting. Some nice results. I think we've got a lot to work on, but it'll be really kind of cool. Until next time, thank you, and goodbye, guys. Have a beautiful evening, and a beautiful day. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Van Thank you for having me. Goodbye for now.